Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for coming on the webinar. And we'll just give it a um, we'll just give it a little couple of minutes or a few seconds, a bit longer for more people to come on. Um, but I just want to, whilst we're waiting, just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you for being Glint clients. Uh, some of you might be investors in our business as well. Thank you for supporting us. And uh, some of our team are probably listening as well. So thank you to all the team who are doing such a sterling job um, with Glint and getting it uh, to the place it is right now. Very pleased to be um, very pleased to be offering a solution uh, to some of the problems in the world. Obviously, it's very timely today. Over the last few days, we've seen um, a banking crisis unfold. And actually, it goes back to the reason why I set Glint up in the first place. By the way, for those of you who don't know, I'm Jason Cousins. I'm the founder and the CEO of Glint. And it was back in 2008, actually, in the last financial crisis, the last global financial crisis, where we saw the whole financial system come to the brink of collapse that I thought for the first time, why haven't we got a, a reliable way of storing our wealth? Why can't we um, put our, our money somewhere safe outside of the risk that is inherent within the banking system. And I think it's really become apparent to everybody uh, that actually what banks are, they work on a fractional reserve system. Uh, it's called fractional reserves because they only have about 10% of the money at hand uh, available for withdrawal at any one time. The rest is invested invested or lent out um, and in order to generate profits for the bank and uh, an interest rate, a profit for those depositing money in the bank. But of course, it just means that a, a bank is by design, uh, has that those levels of risk because, of course, the whole thing's just based therefore on confidence. Confidence, not everybody's going to want to withdraw their money at the same time. Of course, when they do, that's what's called a run on the bank. Uh, and we've seen we've seen what can happen over the last few days. I, I wish I didn't have to set up Glint, but uh, but obviously that that those these problems are systemic and they do exist. And of course, uh, we inflation is obviously the big backdrop as well. The money depreciates in ways outside of our control in the background because of central banking policy and the amount of money that's printed. Of course, this crisis is going to do nothing uh, except increase probably the amount of money that gets printed as certain banks get bailed out. Um, anyway, there are plenty of other videos uh, and tweets and things going on and articles uh, talking about that. I don't want to uh, this 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 um, webinar is is about something else. It's about our latest app, which we are super excited uh, about. It's it's been a little while in the making. Uh, it was last year that we took the decision that we would um, rewrite and rebuild the grant the app from the ground up. Uh, and actually some of our backend services as well. So it's a much it's a much more flexible platform and it means that we're going to be able to bring lots more features uh, to the product uh, going forward at a much rapid rate than we've ever been able to do in the past. But uh, enough about me speaking, uh, Yax. Uh, Yax is a, a, a vulnerable um, product manager here at Glint. He's done a fantastic job um, and, and working again the team, working and collating the team together and making them do you know pulling the whole design together it's just been a pleasure to watch yax thank you thank you jason <laughs> uh, and um i'll over to you really as to uh as, as to you know why we've done this and take people through the details brilliant thank you um hi everyone uh thanks for that intro jason i'm yax i'm a product manager at glint and first of all i'd just like to thank you all for taking your time out to join us today. Um, and being a product manager, today's webinar is focused on something I'm very proud about and very excited about, and I hope you are too, and that's our product. Um, so as Jason said, we we made a decision a year ago to rewrite our app and you know that, that could take time. And when you make that kind of decision, it sometimes means that your existing app um, can be stuck in a little bit of a time loop um, until the latest one is out there. So we didn't want that to happen. So actually in the build up to 3.0, we've been working on other things to ensure that we're still making positive steps towards improving the product. Um, so I'd like to highlight some of those things um, that you may have noticed as users. For example, um, we've been improving the feedback for messaging when you use your card. So your card usage notifications, we are able to send um, better alerts when you've got insufficient funds. Or in the UK, uh, we know that the, the preferred payment method is contactless. Um, but every now and then you've got to you've got to use your chip and pin for SCA. Um, and that can sometimes come as a surprise. So now we're sending an alert when you may need to use your card at a POS, just so that you can um be be better alarmed, better aware, and not be caught out by surprise. Um 
we also know in the UK that funding your account via bank transfer has, has taken longer than it needed to. Um, and we found a way to improve that. Um, so now we've recently launched a way for bank transfers to reach your account instantly. Um, and even and if you if you append gold to your reference, we will also buy gold for you straight away as well. Um, the last time we had a webinar, we had a poll about what what features people wanted us to help develop next. And I think monthly gold buy was something that was quite voted on. So, you know, with that um, appending gold to your reference when you do a bank transfer, you can also use that to set up a standing order and make regular gold buys of, a, of, a, of an amount of your choosing. The other thing we've done is set up the Glint Discovery Program. As some of you have already joined, you've participated in surveys, much appreciated. Um, those who are members and have iOS devices have got early access to the to 3.0. Um, and they've been able to use the, the Gleep tool that we installed in the app to help iterate feedback and gather feedback. So we've been really listening to our, to our customers um, and developing things to improve the experience whilst we've been working on, on 3.0. So the big question is, why did we make 3.0? Um, Jason's touched on this, but I'll just reiterate. One of the reasons was to increase confidence in the platform. And you can see that in the contemporary interface that we've gone for. Um, we've made a faster and easier onboarding to help clients understand the value proposition as quickly as possible. Um, and we've also made it faster and easier to buy and hold gold. We saw that's the primary activity that, that our clients wanted and our customers needed. So we've made it a lot, lot easier to do that. The other reason is to enable faster development. So, you know, we've updated the technology our app is built on. Um, our, 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 our V2 app had reached a point where it amassed technical debt that was making it difficult for us to iterate on. Um, so now with the new tech stack, uh, the new technology, we should be able to build new features um, faster than before and also have support for modern devices and platforms as you know, devices are innovating and becoming more advanced. We need to be able to keep up with them to keep up with the needs of our clients too. Um, and ultimately, our, our vision uh, is to be a front of wallet product. And we have a roadmap full of, of items and features to support that regular usage. And points one and two really help to bring point three forward and make it real. And I just, I just want to kind of just double down on that, really. If we're if we're honest about the product, it's what I would call a back of wallet product. You know, most of you are saving and occasionally spending from it, some more than others. I'm spending mine every day. Uh, but but uh, it's impossible to actually uh, use it as a, a vibe, uh, you know, as a banking alternative at the moment because it doesn't have some of the features that we need to have in there that would make you uh, allow you to drop a bank, for instance, account and be able to f solely use Glint. So our mission over the next year or two is to make sure you have all those features in. I'm glad to see these ones on the immediate roadmap, uh, but eventually we'd like to get to the point where you, you feel comfortable enough to drop your bank bank account and move to Glint and use it for all of your needs. Totally, and that that thing that's uh... sorry, sorry without without becoming a bank, we're without... not going to. We're never going to become a bank. We're never going to put our clients' uh, gold into the kind of you know, the risk position that your money is at the bank, but, you know, a kind of banking alternative with gold at its heart, with the choices that you, you have and the features that allow you to get on with your, manage your life. That's a very important point. Um, you know, in, including things like enriched transaction details, payouts. And we know that some of you want more, more information about market news to in, inform your buying and selling decisions. A auto pays, you can imagine, mm. when you get your, your direct debits paid, your utility bills, all that kind of stuff. It's for the long down the future. Don't I'm not, The engineering team don't need to do it for that next <laughs> quarter, but it's, it's on the longer term roadmap. So we understand the why. Um, so I think it's very important for us to understand what is 3.0. So in its first um, it, 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 its first its first principles, it is the next update of the Glint app. Um, it will be native on iOS and Android, so you will get a native experience if you're an iOS user or, or an Android user. It will serve as a baseline for all of our future updates, um, and it will mark a step change in the Glint app. So the the, the beta that's already out there um, is on iOS at the moment. We have our Android beta to follow up very soon. Um, for all of the Android our Android clients out there, we are we are pushing and striving to get that to you as soon as possible. Um, 
and 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 3.0 has all the things you'd expect from glint you can still buy you can still sell you can still spend and save your gold as normal you can still manage your glint card link it to your wallet so you can spend the, all your holdings and the price of gold as normal in this new experience um but there's also some new things too you know you can now buy your gold direct with your card again leaning into the point that we're trying to make it faster and easier for people to buy gold we've got a more interactive gold graph that allowed you to see the price of gold against um two, two points in time so we understand the why we understand the what and i understand that some of you um who have had access to the beta program who have been on the platform with i or with ios have already used the app um but some of you are particular android users haven't had a chance to play around with the app. So this is um, for the next few slides. What I'm going to do is just give you a, a demonstration of some of the key journeys in the app. And after each one of these um, kind of videos, there's going to be an opportunity for you to have some give us a, give us some feedback through the form of some polls. Um, and if there's anything that springs to mind um, in terms of how you can make the app better, how you think that we can make the app better. Uh, please just pop your, your comments in the Q&A. Um, okay, so to begin with, this is our dashboard. Um, and from the dashboard, you can see all the wallets in your region. Um, and this is this journey that I'm going to show you is how you fund your account. So, so that for those of you in the US, you'll see your gold and your US dollar wallets. But of course, other people in the rest of the world get some extra currencies in there. And as we bring more currency wallets to market, and we do have ambition to add more in, this is where they'll appear, won't they? Yeah, this is where they'll live. Um, so I'll just kick off, tapping on the wallet. Um, so if you want to tap in a GBP, you'll you'll be able to. Oh, cool. So from the dashboard, uh, you can tap on your wallet um, and select fund. So here you've got your bank transfer options. So quite easily you uh copy and paste your your details into your banking application and you can you can you can set up your payments from there um it's and if you're trying to buy gold you can tap on the source uh from here you can see all your payment options pay with your card your wallet um this journey is paying with card you can type in your amount um and from here you can also type in the quantity so either field that you you inter interact with the uh, the corresponding field will update so you can see how much you're actually buying uh you get a review screen to confirm your purchase um from here you hit continue and we start to process the payment interacting with your with your issuer to to take the funds and there 20 grams of gold have been bought your balance updates um so again, it's we've tried to make it as seamless as possible, um, but you can still also buy gold in the traditional way from a funded wallet, um, and update your update your gold holdings that way. It looks like I I'd, I'd skipped a slide. I started with funding and skipped to buying gold. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I think by the way, uh, we're starting to see some questions coming through. Instead of like building them all up to the end, I kind of maybe just answer some of them. Uh, one of the questions that people are asking is, you know, what's going on with uh, with our Cedars crowdfunding? For those of you who don't know, uh, we did a crowdfunding campaign uh, based in the UK uh, for people outside of the US to invest in Glint. Um, and uh, that campaign finished a little while ago. Of course, Cedars have a very robust due diligence process that they have to go through step by step to check everything's okay with Glint before they transfer their funds. That's them looking after you as an investor. And of course, what's happened over the last week, there are a few more checks needed. For instance, we know how exposed, if, if at all, were we to Silicon Valley Bank or any of these other banks that are going down. I'm glad to say we weren't. And uh, that was just signed off today. So we're expecting funds transferred to happen tomorrow. Uh, and therefore, definitely this week, it uh, looks like you'll have your certificates um, being being created for you, your share certificates and, and that whole campaign completing. So uh, thank you very much again for those of you who are now uh, investors in the company. Uh, and I am really proud to have you guys as investors and advocates for the product. Glad to have you here taking an interest in what we're doing. Um, one of the other questions, Yax, is kind of just is, is when is the app going to be live for both iOS and Android? But you're going to talk about that later, about timelines, I think, aren't I'll, you? I'll, I'll share that information. Like, like I said, be to wise um the ios app is available now so if you need that link let us know we'll get it out to you 
Um, and Android is very, very close. Um, we're, we're, we're in the Play, Play Store getting reviewed. As soon as that's available, we'll, we'll, and, we'll, we'll let you Android's know. a little bit more complicated because there's more than one form factor, isn't there? Yeah, multiple devices, different, um, different, different versions. So we, it's slightly more complicated to build. And and, this, and we felt there was no point in holding iOS back. Uh, we might as well get it out as quickly as possible for those people with iOS devices. So Android coming soon. Another question is, any plans to include crypto or silver? No, uh, we believe that gold is the ultimate store of value. We believe it's the ultimate form of money. Um, and uh, we believe silver was introduced many moons ago as a kind of to deal with de minimis small payments. Of course, what Glint has done, our technology has done, is solved for that problem. We're not an investment app. It's not about trading. Uh, therefore, you know, we're not that bothered about you know that that the gains you can might you might be able to get in silver so sorry silver's not coming to the app anytime soon although i never would say never um of course crypto very different to gold uh i, I wish people would stop calling bitcoin for instance gold 2.0 uh, i was at a conference the other day actually and they said um someone got up before me talking about a, a, a crypto exchange and they said the problem with gold sorry yeah the problem with gold you can't buy it in small amounts you can't easily send it to people and you can't certainly can't spend it of course i stood up afterwards and said well i can buy gold and like i think it's the five decimal points uh, you can send it as easy as sending a text of course i pay for my flights here to the uae i think i was where i was i paid for my hotel and the taxi to the event so um look i think what's crypto is great in terms of its uh, vision and mission uh, some interesting innovations going on there very different to glint and again i think certainly in the short term um in the short term, we're looking to make sure that we're differentiated and people understand what Glint is and how it's definitely not a cryptocurrency. But again, I never say never. We have some initiatives to um, work with cryptocurrencies in our roadmaps, some of which I've talked before, um, but we have to watch that space. Um, but back to you, Yax. Cool. Thank you. Um, so there should be a second poll um, that we, we can run because I missed the first one. So if we could run the second poll on the buying gold journey. So for any of you who have had the beta or has the, have the beta, um, feel free to answer this poll. Um, and for anyone who's seen the demo, feel free to answer this poll too. Oh, this is interesting. Thanks everybody for participating. This is great to be able to see your feedback. And you know, the numbers are moving up and down as people are voting for things. It's really fascinating. I love this kind of interaction yeah, we're amazing. having with the team. Um, this is uh, this is why we started doing these webinars. We wanted to be more interactive with our community um, and really bring you on as part of our experience as well. Um, once this poll is over, I will go back to showing you the funding journey so we can, we yeah. can get a poll going on that too. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Make sure you all participate. We're up to, I think, nearly 50% of the audience participates in the poll. Um, you, you've taken the trouble to come and join. Uh, let's make sure as many of you as possible get a voice. Um, we want to hear from you all. Um, that's it. Through the, we're through half halfway now. Nice. I am. Um, there is a question on the uh, in the, in the Q and A about will this will the upgrade to two point from two point to three point be seamless? Um, we've done a, a lot of hard work to make it as seamless as possible. Um, I can I can say there are five hundred plus existing link clients who have made the journey from 2.0 to 3.0 as part of our beta program um, and they've been as seamless as they can be uh key things to remember are your username and password um it's your account your security um and if you, you know, for anyone who has challenges with those we have support on hand but as long as you know those details the migration should be as straightforward as as it, as, as it can be uh okay so um looks like the majority of 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 our of of you like the new bulk gold buying journey i'll share the those results with you um and that's good i mean you know we you talk about the j curve as well i mean it's mm. quite, it's not about me just because i'm called jason tell tell me about <laughs> the j curve so the, the the j the j curve is something that existing customers experience when there is a significant change to their app and the, the kind of it looks like a j um, where they, they go from a point of dissatisfaction because it's new and they don't quite understand. It's not how I used to do things. And after a while, a short period of time, they, they start to appreciate and say, oh, this is quite, I'm, I'm feeling this. This isn't the Jason. This is this is the J-curve. And it looks like from the observation of the polls, from people who've seen this or have used it, um, they are enjoying the experience and that's that's positive feedback for us well you, um, yeah you guys are obviously tech savvy uh, early adopters so uh that that works for us 
Uh, okay, thank you very much. So I'm just going to show you how to fund your account. So buying gold was uh, one journey uh, with the with the kind of shortcut with the buy gold button. Um, but ultimately, if you are trying to fund your wallet, uh, you would start from the dashboard. Um, and anything to do with any wallet that you want to execute, you just tap the wallet, you've got your navigation at the bottom, um, you hit fund, and here you've got two options, your bank transfer in the UK, I think we don't have this option in the US, um, just to the express, but from here you can copy the details you need to paste into your bank account um, with, your, with your reference, reference is key, we've introduced this kind of copy function to make it as easy for you as possible, um, and you know, from your Express, you can do this within the app. So you select your card, um, type in the amount, very much like buying gold. Um, and you get the similar kind of review screen. And we start processing again, interacting with your with your with your issuer on your bank and success. It's as easy as that. With the funds in your wallet. You can see the update to your transaction history here. Um, and you can see the bottom nav, you've got other options from this screen as well. So for, for our, our, our um, clients who have access to other currencies, you can exchange currency from here, you can send, and you can start to withdraw from here as well. Um, again, we've tried to make it a lot easier for people to find what they need to do with a given wallet and execute um, the kind of action or transaction. And 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 um, again, going back to the fact this form factor is much easier for us to um, add new features into. We expect to be able to add more color, more more sophistication around this transaction list. Definitely. Uh, one one of the things that uh, Jonathan actually has asked is, um, will I have to change my Glint card to work with the new app? No, your existing Glint card should work just fine. Um, in fact, a, a number of the clients who have upgraded to the V3 app should have seen their black and green card visible in the app. Um, when we do launch, we are going to be launching um, with a new blue card. Uh, so where that's available in your country, uh, if you order a new card, uh, you will get the new blue branding. It looks amazing, actually. Oh, it's amazing. It's yeah. worth and with the beveled gold and the, abs <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, it's a big step glamorous. up from the other one, the old one. Thanks for that, Jonathan. Um, so, uh, should we take a poll on this? Yeah, on this journey, please. Um, so, the first poll that we should have run. Um, I think we're in a position to get your feedback on this as well. So you've seen buy gold, you've seen funding. Um, you know, th those are the, the the buttons at the bottom. Um, the poll is now up and running. Let's see if we can beat our engagement on the first poll. So what is the question? Should we just read it out? The question is, how would you describe the journey to fund your account? Is okay. it better than ever? I love it. Okay. Is it good? Not so good? Worse than ever? I hate it. Uh, so Joe, you've asked a question. Will there be a better way to transfer money in from banks with a new app? Um, at the moment, bank transfers require you to leave our app, copy in details and leave our app. And we, we recognize that there, there is improvements that can be made on that journey. Um, the first step for us was trying to make that journey as speedy as possible. So in the UK, we've made those bank transfers instant. Um, and I'm actively exploring opportunities to um, enable customers to make bank transfers without leaving our app. Um, so it's a lot easier. So with the initial launch, uh, that's not going to happen, um, but it's definitely on 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 my on our horizon and on our radar. And as we mentioned, uh, our objective is to try and deliver things as uh, as quickly as we can iteratively. Um, and one of the reasons why we've launched our new um, well, the V three. So thank you for that question, Joe. Um, let's see how this poll is going. We are absolutely smashing it, sixty percent um engagement and you know yeah again a lot of a lot of a lot of uh positive feedback uh, i can share those results with you as well better than ever i loved it 35 percent good 53 percent excellent stuff so we've shown you how to fund um how to buy gold i think we are ready to move on to the gold graph
Before we do, um, uh, Tim's asked a question about um, about Sutton Bank and Mastercard. So, in the USA, um, you know, in the in the UK, client funds. Uh, this is the not the gold, of course. Gold. Just re- just remind everybody, your gold is about ninety nine percent of our clients' uh, wealth is stored in gold on our platform. We do have the choice, of course, to keep your money in fiat currencies in the in the uk and for the rest of the world it's held at lloyd's bank which is a tier one bank here in the us it's held in a mastercard issuing bank called sutton bank and the question is you know is is it still safe in the us to have my money at sutton bank well i always always say you know i think the whole proposition behind glint is to get your money into uh into gold where it is no one else's liability but of course, Sutton Bank, a very different type of bank than most of those commercial banks out there in the world. There is information publicly available about Sutton Bank and its uh, its practices. They don't. Um, they didn't take they, their business model me- meant that they didn't take it. They didn't extend the uh, the low interest rate. Uh, it's a little bit complicated around um bonds that you know i said before that when a when a bank takes your money they only keep 10 percent. the rest is invested or lent out of course a lot of them uh buy these government bonds and stuff and they got themselves in trouble because they were kind of getting themselves involved in contracts with you know lot these long interest rates these very low interest rates and of course as the interest rates r- rose considerably fast uh in the us then that made it so that the the, it was costing the bank money to effectively li- liquidate those positions um, and to create the money to give to their customers as they withdrew money. Sutton Bank don't do that. Um, it's not their practice. And so and they have very different kind of uh, liquidity ratios than most of these other com- these commercial banks. They're a reputable MasterCard issuing bank. MasterCard wouldn't be working with them if they didn't. Um, if they didn't think you know they were the right kind of bank for your client deposits so yes i'd say it's safe uh but i say personally i think god's safer um up to you to make your decisions about that um maybe there's some information we could put out later about certain bank maybe linked to some of the information publicly available information on them definitely uh question from joe about when are we launching in the us um so ios is going to go first as they are um as the application is 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 more ready Um, I will give updates on launch towards the end of this uh, this presentation. Uh, Okay, so... One one more question, actually, um, about peer-to-peer. So, you know, one of the best things about Glint is the fact I can send gold to you on your birthday um, using peer-to-peer as easy as sending a text. Uh, And, of course, you know, we can do this to anybody else who's got a Glint account. Um, and that's available everywhere in the world except the US. And I do apologize for it not being available there. It's something we really would wish we could we could launch. Technically, we could, but from a regulatory perspective, look, guys, we don't want to fall out with the regulators. We want to make sure that everything we do is uh, thoroughly thought through, and uh, we have all the regulatory approvals and uh, necessary to operate in any of the territories we're in. And so the decision. So it was taken when we launched in the US not to initiate peer-to-peer payments with gold. Of course, you can do it with US dollars. So you could send, sell your gold, have that sent to somebody else, and they could buy gold again. But of course, you'll have some transactions around that. Watch the space. We are working on it. We've been working with uh, the lawyers and the legal representatives that you know, give us all the right kind of advice around this. Um, it's constantly on our minds. We are working on it and hope to bring you some news on, on that later this year. But it's not going to be next week. It's not going to be in this app. You talk about sending P2P on my birthday there, Jason. Conveniently, <laughs> it is my birthday next month. So you know, I have all these witnesses. I expect a bit of gold. Yeah, for... I never said how much. <laughs> Actually, he's the best product manager I ever worked with in my life. So he go. deserves there to get go. some gold on his birthday. There we go. Shall I finally talk about this gold graph? Let's do it. Let's go. So um, the gold graph. Now, I mentioned tapping on any wallet will allow you to see what you need to see about that um, currency. So tapping on the gold wallet will actually take you to a view where you can see not just your card activity, but the more important gold graph. Um, And the gold graph here, you can interact with it to change it to currency. You can see gold against different currencies, how gold is performing um, in different weights. So here we've converted it to ounces. Um, We can convert that to euros against the ounces. 
Uh, so if you're interested in seeing how gold is performing against currencies uh, around the world, um, this is where you can do it from. Um, you can also like the existing app, tap on tap on the screen to see the price uh, in at a given point in time. Um, but a new addition uh, that we've added was the ability to look at gold over two points in time. So you can see the percentage movement uh, of gold over a given time period, and also look at it, um, you know, over the course of one one day, uh, week, two years, five years. And 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 this and you know you you called this app three point zero. Mm. Um, it's only why not just version three? Well, in the app stores, uh, you're going to just see a two point, and the next increment is going to be three point zero. So three point zero is our starting point. All the improvements will be three point X's. So when we deliver iterations of this, um, you may see a three point one, three point two, three point one point one. Um, this is this is our starting point, um, the new baseline for us moving forward. Great. So continuous feedback from you guys is going to be allow us to prioritize what we do next, and there'll be other things coming into the totally. app, 3.1, totally. 3.2. I think you've already influenced something that's coming in 3.x, um, and you know the more engagement we can have with our audience, the more of the 3.xs uh, you will be able to um, influence as well. Yeah, so one of Mike's asked another question. Uh, I think I've heard it before. Is can I set the gold price to ounces um, rather than grams? I think that's the question. Great question. Um, at the moment, it's all set in grams. I think this is a popular request actually that's come through um, via our feedback channels, particularly via Gleep. A lot of our clients, I think a lot of our US clients who, who operate naturally in ounces, um, are keen on this. Uh, it's one that I'm uh, I'm following quite closely, and it's on our plans to deliver. So, you know, look out, watch this space. Um, because you can set the chart, of course, to ounces. You, you can, can do set the chart. things like that, but the, the transactions and other cattle of fish. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Should we take a moment to take a poll on this whilst we look at some of the questions? I, I would love to get the poll. I'd love to get the poll. Um, so uh, let's launch poll number three. How would you describe the usability of the gold graph? We hit 60% participation levels at the last time. Can we hit 61 plus? Of course we can. It's rapid. Oh, the participation levels are rising. Uh, question from somebody. When can we place limit orders? Oh, we, we, we're we desperately trying to get limit orders in the app. We know that the gold graph is just a starting point, actually. Monitoring the price and how it's moving um, is just a beginning. If you can start to automate your, 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 your gold purchases and sales based on you know, those of you who are soothsayers and can predict the market, I've tried to play the market a couple of times. I'm 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 more, I'm more of a holder now. I think. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, there's people still voting. I mean, um, it's interesting. Um, as I said, I think uh, we already know there's a few things that that we need to improve for the chart, and and we, you've already given us some feedback on that, especially the beta tester. Should we should we should we uh, ready to end the poll? We're fifty nine percent. Come on, let's push. Can we get to sixty? Can we get to sixty? Who what? hasn't pushed the button? <laughs> there we go. 61. 61. Thank you very let's much. All res results. Let's share the results. Thank you, everybody. Fail to share. Oh, <laughs> what was that saying? Another, Another poll. Another poll started. Okay. Um, not quite sure what's going on there. Um, don't deal with, yeah, don't do do live technology or, or pets. You have pets, <laughs> animals, um, whilst doing live shows. Well, um, We'll have to maybe just tell you. So um, I think 32% said that you thought it was better than ever. I loved it. 62% said um, you thought it was good. And 5% and said the same as before. So um, we've got a number of uh, hands being raised, by the way, Andy. We've got Andy in the background there helping us understand some of the questions. But um, yeah, um, there are some improvements we can make on that. We've yeah. got every intention on bringing them to to the product, haven't we? Definitely. Uh, but it's uh, good to see that everyone thinks it's better than before. Cool. Thank you, everybody. So I've got one last uh, critical journey to to show you all. But before you do, there's some. There's a few more questions coming through. Um, one of them is: Will the new card be metal? Well. Um, 
we are going to have a metal card um but uh we'll, we'll talk about that another time this card is entry level card it's uh, it replaces the entry level card we've got now it is made of plastic and um it, it's a better design it's got some you know it, it looks beautiful uh, you can see a bit of a representation of it in the app um but it, this one isn't metal but we will be introducing a metal one further down the line uh how do i get a a, a glint card um, how do you get a Glint card? So depending on your region, if cards are available, um, you can order a Glint card in the app. Um, Which regions are that? So in the US and in the UK, we've got cards available. And then, um, and then if you've already got a, a the 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 older black and green card, uh, what, if you, what if you want this sexy new plastic one with the you know the gold uh, on? On the edges and stuff we've got plans to make that available for people who have the existing card and want to upgrade their their look and feel of their card to, to match their app that's something um, that's going to come out later is it's it? something that's going to come out later okay um and then uh i think scott andrea and scott uh how when will we be able to authorize husband and wife on the same account um it's in the roadmap isn't it it's in the it's in the roadmap i think this is this is again something we've seen a lot we know that families want to share the gold around um and we we've seen a lot of people actually inviting um, their wives um girlfriends children uh to to use glint um and share share the uh, the vision so yeah again this is something that we we've, we've definitely got firmly in our in our scope yeah um, and also Fredericks asked, can, I own physical gold. Can it be transferred to Glint? Um, not no is the answer. Uh, we we really don't want to get involved in the logistics of um, having, you know, gold. Um, it could be in any form. Uh, we'd have to be testing, assaying it, checking that uh, checking that the gold is is the right quality or that. At the end of the day, the gold in Glint is is only gold. That is on what's called the London Bullion Market Association's good delivery list, or it's from refiners who are on the good delivery list of the London Bullion Market Association. That means we have the prominence there. We know that it's a it's the 999.9 pure quality gold. Uh, it's come from a good source, etc. So we don't want we want to make sure that you have that quality for all of our clients. And of course, sending gold from one person to another, it's sacrosanct that we maintain that quality. Um, another question from John. Um, I'm not quite sure the question is that uh, I've got daily transfer limit amount. I'm guessing about, you know, asking what is the daily transfer of money into the account? In of course, in the arrest the in, in the US, there is a limit, I think, of I think it's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a day. Yeah. Um of course, outside of the US, I don't think there is a limit at all. Um, but we are working on um, some solutions to increase the limit for those people who want to buy larger amounts and don't want to have to transfer 250000 a day into the account. Um, There's also card limits, daily, trans daily transfers through your card. So if you want to transfer more yeah. um, than your daily card limit. Yeah, yeah. And, there's a, and there's a really interesting question that's come up. It says, uh, if Lloyd's goes bust, what happens to our gold? um and uh are we are, are is it fdic uh protected this is again from frederick well first of all your gold's got nothing to do with lloyd's you know your your gold is held safe in a in a bank sorry not safe <laughs> so it's held safe in a vault uh which is run by brinks who are an independent of the banking system it's insured insured by lloyd's of london so if if if, if lloyd's goes down then your gold is safe uh, and uh, of course, are we FDIC protected? Well, there's a there's a very good reason why uh, the money in your um, in your account at Lloyd's is not FDIC insured. FDIC insurance is there for money that is on the bank's balance sheet and is lent out. Actually, the money that's held in a Glint, um, you know, uh, Lloyd's account. Oh, sorry, I'm getting mixed up with the uh, financial services compensation scheme and um the fdic which of course in the us so in the uk um your money is not part of the financial service compensation scheme instead actually i think it's a better situation it's not able to be lent out it's not uh, on the bank's balance sheet and therefore if the bank was to go bust you should be able to have all of it and no matter what happens uh, to the bank uh, uh, during that process um in the us uh, we have, of course have a different scheme it's, it's the fdic and yes your accounts are uh, protected each person's account is protected up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars um sean's asked uh apple pay what about apple pay um of course in the us we have google US, samsung pay and apple pay in the us yeah. um in the uk we've got google pay and samsung pay 
Um, we are working towards getting US, uh, sorry, Apple Pay available in the UK too. So we've got the full suite in um, our, our, our regions where cards are available. That's something to look at on our roadmap um, this year. And then another question, when are we going to be in the EU? When are we going to be in Canada? Um, well, we don't want to overextend ourselves too much, too fast. You know, we want to make sure that uh, everything's, you know, we're doing really well in the markets we're already in. Uh, but the EU is, well, we, of course, we were issuing into the EU before Brexit. Uh, that stopped us uh, passporting into those European countries. But we have got a project that is very much live. Uh, we were hoping to be back in Europe, live in Europe already. Um, but of course, the whole banking situation around the world is getting more complicated. Uh, and so we do have to wait until um, we've decided who will be our banking partners. So I think everything else is really in flight there. It shouldn't be too much longer, but uh, I, I, probably another three or four months before we're live in Europe. Apologies to everybody in Europe who wants us to open accounts. We can't wait for you have you as customers. We'll be there as quickly as we can. Um, when my card expires, will I automatically get a new one from Daniel? Um, in the US, you will automatically get a new card. In the UK, um, if your card has been actively used, you will automatically get a new card. If your card hasn't really been used and it expires, um, you'll have to order a new card yourself. So if you want to keep your if you want to keep your cards alive, use it. Use it or lose it. So um, that's uh, you got you've got some more to tell us though, haven't you? I do. Yes. So um, we've seen the graph. We've seen funding. We've seen buying gold. There is a uh, another kind of key point about the app, um, which is the backboard. So uh, the backboard in three is home of your card management. Uh, we wanted to bring people closer to their gold, so we've placed a map um, of where their gold is um, here and provided some content about Glint and easy access to terms and privacy details. You can also manage your card here as well. So you can freeze it, um, defrost it if you've lost it, um, and you find it. We found out that people were accidentally canceling their cards in V2. So we've added an extra layer um, to that journey to prevent you accidentally hitting the cancel button. Uh, hopefully that helps. Um, and here's also where you link your card to different wallets. So currently it's linked to gold. If you see on the balances drawer, um, on the gold wallet, you can see a card icon next to the next to gold. If you tap the, the link button again and select USD, it links your card to USD. So it's just um, selecting a different wallet from the backboard allows you to update where your card is linked to. So you're spending um, from the right place. So if you want to spend some of your savings in gold, if you want to spend some of your USD, uh, that's all possible. And in other currencies as well, um, similar experience. So that's that's the beginning of our backboard. And you can see there at the top left, you don't have to necessarily tap on the backboard to see where your card is linked to. Uh, we also try and give you that information up front. Um, your backboard also have um, things to help you manage your account. So you can hit your icon, see personal information um, and other things that you need for support. So important part of your of your app experience. And I think that brings the kind of core journeys that I wanted to show you to, to a close. Great. And no more polls. Are we done? Uh, there's one last, there's one last poll for the backboard. Um, so I think whilst if we can launch the poll for the backboard, we can answer a, a couple of more questions. So we had 61% participation in the last one. Let's see if we can go for 62. What's the question? And the question is, how would you describe the experience of managing your card on the backboard? Cool. Um, and how do I change my address on my account has been asked by Malcolm. So um, in the app, you've got your the profile icon at the top right. Um, to change it via the app, you'd select that that button. And then there is a, a, a there's a personal detail section with a change address. Uh, you, you'd need to send, a, send an email into our customer support team who will, who will help you through that process. We do have ambitions to allow customers to update this all within the app um, for a frictionless experience. And that's 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 something that's on our horizon. At the end of the day, that friction's there for a reason, isn't it? We oh, want to make security. sure that you know you don't have any account takeover issues that some of the banks have. You know, your security of your account is a the, the, the you know is right at the top of our mind. Um, and whilst you're doing the poll, come on, guys, a few more people, please. Um, 
tell us about tell us about your experience around the uh, uh, managing card on the black and on the on the black on the backboard. Uh, but a couple of questions. So Will has asked when we'll be able to open corporate accounts. Well, we're aware that a lot of people, a lot of our customers, even have businesses. A lot of mm. businesses do get in touch with us. Uh, we're aware that people would like businesses would like to divide, diversify some of their working capital into gold, still be able to use it for payments. Of course, it's businesses that are often the most um, kind of exposed to the problems around the banking crisis because you know FDIC or uh, financial services compensation schemes insurance only go up to um to, you know up to $250,000 in the in the US for instance uh, and might have more than that in their account, bank accounts so um look we we would love to be able to bring a, a banking experience um uh, sorry a a um a corporate experience a uh, business experience to to you it is quite a big, heavy technical lift because uh, at the moment we're all working on the on the mobile phone um, form factor, um, security obviously as well as one of the most That's important important. things for us. Uh, and so uh, opening that up to web based uh, interfaces, which is what most businesses I think require, is a is it takes a lot more um, a lot more work involved. But having said that. We do have some beta testing with business accounts, and we are evaluating this. Um, and uh, so, I suppose it'd be great if if you are interested uh, in uh, having a, an account open for a business, then please do get in touch with us. Um, maybe email support at glimpay.com and just just uh, kind of um, uh, register your interest, so that when we do open that beta up to a public beta for businesses, then you'll be the first person to be to be notified. So yeah, just just please write in. Maybe we'll um, we'll create a, a a way for you to be able to do that. Um, Brilliant online with some kind of poll form. Definitely. Um, We've got some more questions about um, how do I get added to the beta program, Ricardo? Um, pop us a note. And I will get you added. I don't know how. For, uh, are we talking about? Are we talking about businesses? Do you think? Are we talking about the beta program from this app? I'm not beta quite program sure. for this app. Um, yeah, maybe yeah. we could actually paste the link in there, maybe on the chat. So, yeah, uh, I, I don't see know. If we'll, I can... we'll see. We'll see if we can post it on the chat. Maybe uh, Andy can do that for us. Um, yeah, we have a Discord discussion community, Frederick. That's a brilliant idea. We've um, when we when we talked about creating the Glint Discovery program. This is this is the kind of destination we wanted to try and get to to have a a live active community swapping notes sharing feedback sharing stories um and we started small we said let's actually just start with a survey see if people are keen to to join um and we can see if we can start building it organically from there and it you know so far we have had um a warm reception to it so you know it's it, it's something that could happen um at this stage it's not there yet but glad to see that there is appetite for that too okay and our poll we've hit 61 percent um for the for the for this poll so we've we've matched our our our, our top um percentage volume um and overall again responses are positive better than ever i loved it can i share sharing some results um so again i think this is We've we've taken a lot of time. Um, you know, I'd like I like to you know really um, give a, a shout out to the team that have worked on building this, um, and the teams that have all helped to support building of this uh, this this three um, you know, It's been a lot of time in the making, um, a lot of collaboration between multiple departments in the company. Um, so I'm 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 glad uh, to see that you know, that what we believed was going to be beneficial. Um, what we understood was going to be beneficial to our customers is, um, and I look forward to 3.x rolling out. Um, in fact, this rollout going out in the, into the into the hands of all of our clients and all of our customers, um, so that they, everyone can enjoy this beyond the beta program. Um, what options do we are there to fund my account from Donald? So you can fund via bank transfer in the UK, ACH or wire. Um, in the US, um, and you can also fund with your with your bank card. Um, those are our funding options at the moment. Um, and are our goodies available to purchase from Mr. Joel? You mean these like like nice swag? We've got goodies? some nice caps, haven't we? We've got some beautiful caps. bags. Beautiful you, caps. Yeah, I mean, it's got, yeah, you'd like we maybe we should maybe we should open it up. There's some good. We've also got some cool T-shirts with uh, 
with phrases on them like uh oh, um... cash is trash and <laughs> we have in the in the uh in 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 the team so i don't know maybe maybe we should maybe we should make a little shop available on, yeah. the, on the website um it's good good feedback uh mr joel we'll uh we'll have a look at that um I'm just trying to see if I can get you this link uh, to the um, to where you can download from the beta. Maybe we, maybe some of the team can get it in the chat if, if, um, if in time. If you leave a download the beta for the Android platform, not quite here yet. Okay. Um, but what about if you if you're on iOS? Is on it, iOS, is it... we should be able to get you that link. Yeah, we'll 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 try. Uh, yeah, um, I, I, Andy, I've emailed the the link to you in the in in that new. It was in the new last. It was one of, in one of our newsletters. I think there was a there was a a link in one of our newsletters. If you're if you sub, this is why you need to subscribe to the newsletters and opt in to receive them because they have all kinds of interesting articles, but also information on new tech like this. Uh, we'll see if we can get the link in there before this is over. Yeah, uh, in the chat. Right. What's next? Um, okay, so. Uh, that's that's the end of kind of demos. Hopefully that's been informative for anyone who's got the app, maybe shown some things you didn't notice before. And for anyone who hasn't got the app, hopefully you're excited. Um, the question of the day, when is 3.0 available? Like beyond the beta, yeah. Beyond, beyond the beta, yes. Yeah. When will this be available in, in your app stores? For a general download. For a general download. Um, on iOS, it will be March. Um, we should be you know, going live anytime soon. Um, so look out for that. If you have automatic updates on your device, on your, on your, on your app store settings, um, your app will automatically update. If you need to do manual updates, just have a peep in the app store. There will be some comms that goes out once we're all, once we're live on iOS to remind people. Um, but we are going for March. Uh, you know, it's probably going to be a phased rollout. So over a period of time, Apple will increase the percentage of users who get access to this um so yeah keep a keep a, keep your eye out we'll be there soon the android beta is also available in march like i said we are just waiting for a review from from the play store and we can share that link out to to people who are interested um we'll we'll, we'll be sending that out to all of our glint yeah customers and also uh glint registered yeah re people are registered for the for the uh, beta program yeah and for the uh our newsletter so make sure you're signed up to all of those communications so you're the first to know Androiders uh, or droids droid okay and you know all things being equal following the beta and the feedback we get to make sure it's as polished as it can be we will be launching that um you know in 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 full full production sometime in April uh, again more communications will follow to keep you all in the loop um obviously we keep listening to feedback and I mentioned at the top of the call 3.0 was just a baseline it was just the beginning um so here's something to whet your appetites about what to look out for next life after 3.0 now listening to the feedback from our last webinar um and trying to understand what's really going to help our client our customers um benefit from 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 our from our product um the one of the things that was most that most of you voted for was a monthly gold buy um so we've been working on this um you know it's a 3.x release when soon um first obviously is a 3.0 release but you know the monthly gold buy is an easy way for you to accumulate accumulate your gold holdings um transfer funds regularly uh to, to save not spend and put you in control of your of your plan um so that's just something that is going to make it nice and easy really for all of our clients to accumulate gold um if you want to you know, accumulate a uh, hundred 200 300 dollars or pounds at a time uh, over a period of time the next thing is to support your tax reporting um because we because we do have some reporting in the app already don't we we've got statements in the app and, um, and downloadable downloadable statements. spreadsheets with all your transactions in and stuff like that but yeah we, we wanted something better than that didn't we something a bit more sophisticated so when it comes to the end of the tax year depending on your region um you know there's different uh rules that you've got to calculate your profit and loss on and you know, in some countries in some countries yeah. yeah and this can be quite challenging um we've had a lot of clients reach out to us um it, 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 during during financial checkpoints of the year saying how do I get a tax report how do I get a tax they, report? Do, they don't want to work it out themselves is there is there anything we can do to help automate that make it really easy yeah so we've been working with a with a partner on 
providing uh, localized by country uh, profit and loss reports to help you provide your tax um, advisor or calculate yourself your tax reports. Um, so that's something to keep your eye out on. I mean, amazing, really, that one of the world's biggest accounting firms is actually working with us on this. It's the whole engine behind the scenes actually giving you a localized tax report. It's pretty it's amazing incredible. Incredible. Uh, that it does all that for you. Incredible. And lastly, uh, well, not lastly, but one other thing I think has been already mentioned on this call is Apple Pay. I was mentioned a couple of times on this call. We know how important this is to spenders. Um, convenience, speed. In Apple Pay in the UK. Apple Pay or, in the or UK. outside of the US, should we yeah, say. Outside yeah. of the US. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's that's also on the horizon. We're working quite closely with the people at MasterCard um, to try and coordinate that and get that sorted. Yeah. So I, I would, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, over to you. Okay. So that that's that's a lot of things for you to look forward to. Primarily, I think the things I'd like, to, like you to take away from today are Look out for the iOS app. Look out for the Android beta. Um, and keep giving us your feedback. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Much appreciated. And and I look at guys, you know, Glint is more than a product, it's a movement. And and uh, we need your support. You are the best thing about Glint. And uh, I would say, look, you know, it's so it's it's amazing what you can do to make this a global success. So please do share news about glint information about glint inside the app actually there is a place you can go to in and, and share i think it's in both the old version two and version three if you go into settings uh there's a place where you can press a button to just simply share information about uh about the glint app and send a link to your friends and family about it and and, and, and colleagues it's really important now more more than ever uh the relevance of glint in these difficult times is as, is as great as it's ever been. So please do share. It's important for, for us. It's important for this movement of, of a return to sound money. Brilliant. Thanks for that, Jason. I think that's, that's us over and out. It's good. been an absolute pleasure. It's goodbye from me, Jason Cousins. Goodbye from me, Yaksa Sanga. Thank you very much for your time.